Meet Dr. David Welsh. Well, actually, he would prefer it if you just called him Dave. He and his wife Astrid are jet boating up the mighty piece to the Smoky River. It's a beautiful day in mid-October. No cell phone, totally quiet. So what am I thinking? Nothing. And it's so nice to think about nothing sometimes. <laughs> That's because usually night and day, Dave is thinking about his patients. But today, a time out to enjoy the outdoor lifestyle that comes with living in Peace River. Something they both embraced for going on 25 years now. You're close to the outdoors, uh, you know everyone. It's more of a close, close-knit atmosphere, I think. We chose to come here. We were excited about coming here. And it has been good. It's been a wonderful community to raise a family. You're our first victim this morning. It's early in the morning at the Peace River Community Health Centre. In cardiac rehabilitation, registered nurse Joan Petluck is preparing a patient for cardiac stress testing. Dave's day starts here. He was the one who originally introduced the cardiac stress testing program to Peace River over 20 years ago. Not only has it saved patients long commutes to Grand Prairie or Edmonton, it's also saved lives. If you can have a patient screened and, and identify that cardiac disease well in advance, then we're able to get them out and get them treated sooner before they have an event. I think he saved many lives because I know I've certainly sent him one gentleman from Emerge that was having angina, Dave stress tested him, and he was out to the city that day and had his stenting done. And he may well have died had he not um, been recognized and um, treated that quickly. Dave also spends time in emergency and obstetrics at the hospital, and he's recognized for setting up a diabetic clinic here where an educator teaches patients new and better ways to self-manage their diabetes. I had the honor of working with him on uh, acute care before I moved over to this position, and I must say I was like pleasantly surprised he is, uh, his passion for his patients in this area. Later in the morning, you'll find Dave here at the Peace River Medical Clinic. Dr. Welsh is an amazing physician to work with and work for, and um, his patients love him. Hey, Harper. Like Ashley, who brought him some baking today, which Dave jokingly calls contraband. But on a busy day like today, it could very well turn out to be his lunch. He has a little bit of a sweet tooth, so we bring him baking quite often. Here. She's telling you she has an owie. That's he's just so thorough and he's very good with our kids and he's a really good family person. Hmm, how about if he calls you late at night with lab results? Patients don't seem to mind and uh, they just say, Dr. Welsh, it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he is an incredible physician, an incredible man. He is so kind and he takes the time to discuss all of your options and I've just always loved them. I think one time a woman sought me out and she said, I have to let you know, thank you for giving up your husband so much. Because she said, I know, and people know that here, if you're going to die, you go see Dr. Welch and he'll try and help you not die. And if he can't do it, well then you're meant to die. <laughs> <laughs> which sounds sort of odd. I was kind of shocked. And she said, no, really, your husband is so thorough. Dave is the doctor that other doctors come to see. He became my family physician and my family's family doctor. So he actually delivered our five children. Rob is a good friend, a neighbor, and a teammate with Dave in what they call the NHL. Oh, that's the Napa hockey <laughs> Three quarters of the uh, players you see as patients and from a doctor's point of view, I think that's really neat where you could treat and help your friends. He's a good player. There's no one that gives more effort than Dave. Um, and so even as the, the knees are getting older and squeak a little bit, he still goes always 100%. Dave is an accomplished pianist and sometimes plays with this church's music team. Tonight, Donna, music leader at the church, is over for supper. Dave was my husband's doctor. 
My husband had cancer and Dave saw him through those two and a half years of trying to beat it. And um, Dave was always willing to take a phone call whether he was running, whether he was at hockey, whether he was at work. I remember the day that he died, that Terry passed away and Dave was, was quick to be at the house. I remember the tears that he shed, the encouragement he gave to the, to the family as we were all there. And uh, he was just a very remarkable doctor for Terry. Certainly Dave's success in medicine is thanks in part to the support of his understanding wife. We have a beautiful plaque right around the corner and it says Welch, established 1986. And a patient made it for Dave and gave it to us two years ago. And we got it with a little letter and it said, um, happy anniversary. My name is so-and-so and I'm five years old and it's my birthday. And the reason I know it's your anniversary is because I was born on your anniversary. And you were trying to go out for supper and then I came along. So you didn't get to have an anniversary supper. <laughs> so she said, thank you very much. I'm sorry for ruining your anniversary. <laughs> Sometimes Astrid accompanies Dave on his trips to Africa, where he donates his time to practice medicine for Samaritan's Purse. In his recent fifth trip there, he was in Togo. I work with German doctors, American doctors, Australian doctors, British doctors. You see how they do medicine in different parts of the world. This is a, um, pipe, a pipe bag, so it would be over their belt. Dave has another passion that he loves almost as much as medicine. Growing up on the west coast of BC, he became an avid collector of First Nations artifacts. I found my first one at the age of seven while weeding the strawberries. And all our summer holidays were spent searching and looking, and, and now that's my total relaxation, is, is just getting out in the bush and, and finding stuff. Not long ago, he donated his huge collection of Plains and West Coast Native American artifacts to the Nampa and District Museum. Congratulations, Dr. Welsh on winning the 2018 Rhapsody Physician Award. I nominated Dr. Dave Welsh for this award because he goes above and beyond what any other rural physician would do for this community and for his patients. Congratulations, Dr. Welsh. You are so deserving of this award. Um, I come to work every day looking forward to working with you. Uh, you're an excellent mentor. You're an excellent teacher. Our patients are so blessed to have you as their physician.